I'm going to be speaking to Kelly today, who's a street artist and has uh, recently actually started working more with canvases and is, has a passion for the correct products to use. And we're going to be talking about how that will help um, a novice, perhaps painter or somebody getting started or some, even somebody that's more established as to what brands, what context they should use them in. Um, and we're going to just sort of talk about that from that point of view. So there's plenty of tips here um, for artists on Simply Inspired and that's what I'd like to bring into the frame today. For more tips and ideas on painting, please subscribe below to the Simply Inspired channel. So Kerry, let's have a little chat about that. Now I know you're quite passionate about what you do and don't use in terms of art and everything else. Um, yeah. what, are you, what sort of favourite products? Let's start with your spray cans now because you do a lot of street art which you're pretty infamous for. This is what I started using about, this is an actual, well this is the actual brand. So this is Belton. Mm -hmm. uh, back then I was using Belton. This has only just come out about 16 years ago. Um, it came out with the same brand that did a Auto K, so Auto K was car paint, it's essentially. Um, so I started using this. I got I, my mate Darren, who, <laughs> I've known him for years, I've known him for about 20 years. He gave me my first batch of spray cans. Um, and this is like the ultimate brand to use, Belton. Um, it's been going for years. This is a, a color called Dare Orange. So Dare was a very famous graffiti artist. He, sadly died um so they named the can after him they named an orange after him so yeah these basically um the, these are the latest ones so the color comes off the cap comes off so you've got a band on the top so you know which color and then my favorite i've got nozzles so you can get when i first started you had like two nozzles you had a skinny which is essentially that you can see it can you see that? Yeah. That cat, which has got a pink dot. Can you see the pink dot? Mm -hmm. So, essentially, very quickly, fat caps work because there's a bigger hole and more air goes in. A skinny cap has got a very much smaller hole, so less air goes in, so that you can get thin, thin lines in the skinny cap, thick lines in the fat cap. But now, you've got a stock cap, which is a blue dot. These are brilliant for colouring in. These are stock caps on Belton. But in the last two, three, four years, I've been using what's called Loop. It's from Italy. Uh, this is from Germany. So my favorite outline, my favorite like to put outlines on my pieces uh, is a black loop. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. With a black loop skinny cap, which is a stock cap. This comes with it. Um, a standard but that nozzle is amazing it is like it's so good that i've kept them from the cans i've used and i've just kept them in my, in my studio uh my shed because they're that good they are amazing the neat the, the lines you can get out are so neat for more tips and ideas on painting please subscribe below to the simply inspired channel them. you've got the, the balcony and you've got and uh, the other brands so tell me the two brands again and then we'll go back how, how we use them belton yep that's belton that's yep. very very good and the other one is loop this is a limited edition can that's from italy that's from germany when i started you had the two caps so you had those two skinny and fat and now you can get like 20 different caps you've got 30 different brands there's but they're the two i like to use personally all right now your artwork as we've established in the past is on many walls in different businesses and all sorts of wonderful things like that and you're very experienced at using spray can and people aren't actually because they'd love to but they have no idea and yeah. therefore we're educating them a little bit today i mean it's wonderful that the spray can was named after a guy you know that's quite yeah. <laughs> orange yeah um and you have favorite colors and ways of establishing your art with the spray can tell us a little bit more about that this is the loop color chart mm -hmm. um when you when particularly um so that's for loop but this is a very good color chart as you can see you've got many many colors and you've got also you've got things like neon colors chrome gold copper 
Um, back when my mate first gave me Belton, what he used to do, because now you can get Belton, you can get like 250 colors plus. Back then, you could only get a limited number of colors. I can't remember how much. But what he used to do is freeze one can, get another can, put it in hot water. Then he'd get two nozzles with a plastic thing in, and he used to mix his own colors. No, you don't need to do that because you've got so many different colors. You don't need to mix them. It's pointless. Um, so yeah, I just refer to this uh, to get my colors. Um, there, I, I don't know how many are there. There must be about 200 colors there. And it, it's grown so much. Um, it's really cool, actually. It's really exciting because you can mix, you know, um, the only thing is with loop is the names of the colors are a bit odd because you've got Amsterdam yellow and you've got Liverpool red. So they're a bit weird um, instead of like Tele Magenta or um, there's one brand I use, another one called Matana Black and they've actually got a color called Nappies. <laughs> That's actually the name of the colour. That's really funny. It's a nice colour as well. It's like a turquoise. So are these, you, 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 I assume you ordered them online. You were showing me earlier that picture. So people have an idea of your artwork a second. So let's have a look at the picture that you framed and everything else again. So this yep. one, I did mm -hmm. this with uh, acrylics. Um, and I rolled it with uh, acrylic. And I put, so that bit there is... So mainly I do the uh, filling in with spray and then the rest of it's with uh, acrylics. So I use this stuff to outline my acrylic, which is Newton Black. Windsor oh, yeah. Newton is excellent. Yeah, the Windsor, yeah, the Windsor Newton Gallery. Yes, lovely. Yeah, I know this and one. Then mm -hmm. I use this, uh, which is uh, Windsor Newton Foundation. I won't go with anyone else because they're that good. <laughs> I, I think I kept Windsor Newton going actually. Um, but for the colours, here I've started using um, this stuff, Liquitex. Yes, I love Liquitex. Uh, Liquitex, uh, heavy bold. It's really good. Because you get some acrylics and they're really thin, that stuff comes out really good. It comes out nice and thick, so you can get neater lines. Um, yeah, as I was saying earlier, I decided to paint the board which is inside the frame because I thought it was a bit boring and I did have a white poster thing inside it but I didn't like it it was a bit boring so yeah I just wanted to do something different um yeah, yesterday oh I like that <laughs> progress so yeah that's how I do my stuff so people can see um yeah so I mark everything up so I did the background with spray and masking tip the bottom with spray and then the rest of the rocks and the floor and everything and I saw the acrylic and then I'm gonna put a bit of grey there, a bit of grey there and yeah and then use black to outline it so yeah. I like that one and now what's this one going to be called? Have you got a name already or is it? Yeah so I have decided on a name for him yeah I usually do give my characters names I like to give them little stories. I modelled that in the pair of trainers I've got so yeah. <laughs> I love um, orange and pink and purple. Don't go, not many people use them. I think it's a nice combination. I like the combination. So you're liking your acrylics and you're liking your Liquitex and you're liking Windsor and Newton. Now they're a little bit more expensive. So a lot of people will say, hey, yeah, maybe. I, um, yeah, you think yeah. they're worth the money, yes? Because the. Yeah. The thing is, I mean, if you're going to be a novice, nothing wrong with that. We all sat somewhere. Don't bother buying expensive stuff. It's pointless. You, I mean, I the first thing I ever did with spray was car paint. You know, and the first graffiti artist used car paint because there was this stuff wasn't around. This didn't come out till about ninety nine, two thousand. This brand started doing it. So back then, you know, I mean, they were using they were nicking nozzles off, uh, you know, kitchen spray and things like that. You know. Um, you didn't have the range you have now. So therefore, what do you, obviously you use brushes and you use spray cans. You're using brushes presumably for the acrylics. What sort of things do you use there from, the, from other people's points of view for creating such distinction? Because you said you spray can the back. We had that with a masking tape and then 
yeah. you don't mind. Do you use any paint brushes or any other mediums at all? So these are Windsor and Newton, they're quite thick. They're good for backgrounds. You can get these in a pack from W. H. Smith. Um, they're really good. Oh, I just use the foundation brushes. Um, Wind and Newton again, they're excellent. But if you're just starting off, I'd use go, you know, Dilla Rowney are a good brand to start off with because they're good, but they're not as expensive as Windsor and Newton. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're going to start with spray, if you have a new spray paint before, um, don't go to Wilkinson because it'll cost you an arm and a leg and it's not very really good. Um, but I'd start off, yeah, just go online and buy either buy Loop. Loop's really good. There's a few brands called Cobra. They're really cheap. Um, uh, so, I mean, you don't have to fog out, especially if you're starting off. If you're a professional, you know, it is worth the money. I'm not going to lie. It is worth yeah. getting the best stuff. Because it does now, make it. Your canvases, what are you using for the canvas that you've been? You've obviously got the framing, yeah, which I assume you've bought, and then you've um, tidied up and made it much nicer. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got um, you've got the canvas behind. What are you using? Is it board, canvas? What, what's what's um, board on, behind? On one on the one with the frame. I use cardboard on that one. Ah, it's actually on cardboard, yeah, because I know my grand had a piece of cardboard lying around, and I thought, oh, it's really nice to paint on, actually. And it's free, it's great. <laughs> so, no, a lot of people have been saying that in lockdown because I had another artist and he's he's very well known for his light work. I think you've probably seen him. But he has he started painting on, on cardboard because of the lockdown and he, he was painting on tables of all things, which is in yeah. his video. And um and he was expressing how he was using things around the house to sort of you know get his uh, painting uh, still going basically. Oh yes. Yeah. So I use this as well. That's on slate. Can you see the back? Oh, that's nice. On the slate. And I like yeah, that. And, um, spray paint as well. And then um, I used, before I started, sorry, I haven't got anything out there at the moment. But yeah, you've got these things, Posca markers. They're really good. And again, they're a bit pricey. They're about 250 each. But if you go to the range, they've got a set for twenty pounds for about ten of them. That's pretty good. It sounds a bit pricey, but if you calculate it all up, it's really good. It's a good starter pack if you like for Posca markers. Let's so, have a yeah. look at that again. Now show people the nib on that. What have we got on the on the? Um... Oh yeah. Got a nib which is oh yeah. What is it? Uh, two point five millimeter. Can you see it? Mm, yeah, nice. That is yeah. So yeah, and it's got, I don't know if you can hear it, it's got a mixing ball in it, like a spray. So you you shake it and then you press it and then the ink comes out and then you can draw. Um, so yeah, uh, over time you learn about materials. This I didn't know this, trust me, it's taken me 16 years to know everything. And especially now with acrylic, I'm, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, to learn how brushes work and how acrylics work is completely different to spray, completely different, and to, and it's completely different to doing a wall as well. It's a different. You've got to have a different head and shoulders. I think I do anyway. I don't know if it's, it's true actually because I use uh, I do crafts and painting, and when I do the crafts, I use sprays obviously, and I had a uh, feature in the garden that I've made a lot more like a little orbital. Um, a bit like Saturn because I can see outside my window and yeah. I put on I sprayed it and base black then I did gold and sprayed it just um if you like sprayed on so it was very loosely sprayed so I had a, a like a, a bloom yeah and then yeah. I did black over the top again so it's got this almost um atmospheric feel to it and I like using um, cans for all sorts of things like that and I do um a lot of the decorating I do I'll do the board down and then I'll I'll you know do much as you have with masking tape but then when it comes to acrylics as you just said because i've been painting with them this morning is that they're very um they're very fast drying and if you use if you build them up as well and get a nice strong context to them they look fantastic i mean you know you gone are the days where you have to use oils to create that that impactual feel to it and for me when i'm working with acrylics i like to from my point of view get more texture down as well which you can obviously um 
I like very similar brands. Um, I do like marker pens and pens in general because I do like a bit of that myself. And I remember doing a series of um, Japanese based style um, art, which I didn't do with, with a brush, uh, um, which I, you know, I, I started to do. I actually did it with pen and use different nib sizes, if you like, to give you either the strong emphasis or the lighter emphasis. And that was more like your work where I'm starting to draw if you like more animated qualities to the, to the, to the workmanship. I think because when you do a wall and the wall is quite big and well, it would take a long time to finish all that. And I think graffiti isn't, it's not permanent. So it decays. So that's what I've tried to capture with. Um, so yeah, for instance, this piece, it's going to be a P I've only just started it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I've wanted to capture the, uh, that effect of being out in, in the elements in the, in a, I don't know, down, down the tunnel I painted in Swansea and when there's water running down and there's layers upon layers upon layers of paint and moisture and decay. How did you create the back? Because obviously remember we're, we're, we're teaching people, we've got people who are probably a little bit able to apply themselves. So how would you create that sort of um, effect and the background there? So I, well, I sprayed it in a dark grey with Belton, I talked about earlier. Then I used a mixed acrylic black and white in the, uh, the small roller. So basically like a wall roller. Nothing special, and get it from Wilco's cheap. So I, I went over it very lightly with a roller, and then I sprayed on top again to do a P. Then I used transparent black. So it's like a it's black spray paint, but it's transparent. So I used that. I don't know if you can see there with the B. It's quite... Yes. It looks like it's dripping. It looks like it's wet. It's been in moisture. And the effect you can get with that is really cool. Um, so, yeah, and I purposely then, you know, I don't know if you can see that there. I'm trying yeah. to, you know, camera yes. does drip yeah. coming down. So that's, and then I went over it, and then I don't let it dry. So I went over it again with the roller straight away. Didn't leave it dry because you get such really cool effects to make it look like it's decay and, and moisture because that's what graffiti is it's not yes it's meant to be cool clean and crisp and that's what i'm going to hopefully do with the p on 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 i like my foregrounds to be um striking and my backgrounds to be kind of drippy a uh, kind of um what we call aggy kind of background like it's an aggy dirty wall and you know you paint something fresh on top of it so it's like um a bit of expression before it's um Fresh on trash, yeah, which I really like. That's really cool. Yeah, um, fresh on trash. I like that. An Aggie wall. That's very, very Welsh for us, but that's really nice. Now your work is coming on, even in lockdown, beautifully. I mean, you've been actually experimenting, which I adore. And it's it's wonderful to see that expression coming out, if you like, on board and canvases. People might be using different things. And to understand that they can establish different ideas. I mean, you know, your workmanship is 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 very good. Um, I, I realized today that somebody else is following your work through ourselves at Simply Inspired, and they followed you, and they're an animation-based um, Ventura, I think it was. And um, mm, and they've started following you, and I was like, oh, that's nice, they're following us and everything yeah, else. Yeah. Uh, because of the workmanship, because of the animation, obviously. And I think that's what we've got to do is sort of build this interest with people where they can feel comfortable to talk to an artist. Yeah, yeah. Find out some tips, you know, and to understand what um, materials, if you like, mediums to use, as we call them in, in art, and that they can find the safety in knowing what to do. Um, yeah. well, the most important material I use, and it's probably the cheapest, is that it's a pencil. It's a pencil. Without oh. that, nothing I do would exist. And I mean it, nothing would exist. That is the most, that is, honestly, like that is the most important thing you'll ever use in an artist. And if you're not using it enough, then trust me, if you use this a lot, it'll, you'll, it'll show in your work because the more you draw, the better you get. And I, and I, you know, 
I'll bet with someone if, if that's not the case, you know. <laughs> I'll put a bet down with someone like, trust me, if you draw and draw and draw and draw, man, your work will look amazing. Trust me. With drawing, I love using these. Oh my gosh, I have gotten, I've pro oh, market. Yes. I can't stop using them and I can't stop buying them. They're amazing. Um, again, they're not cheap. But if you're a novice, I wouldn't start with these because they're quite expensive. If you're a pro, if you've been doing this thing, art thing a long time, use them. They're amazing. They're watercolors. You've got one chisel tip, and then you've got rounded tip. Edwin's Newton again. Newton again. Yeah, they're nice because of the, the tips on the end, because you can actually, yeah, they're fantastic. I like those. Um, now, you know, we, we're sort of playing down the fact that you're quite uh, well established. You've been 16 years as an artist, which is a long time. And you've been um, uh, honing your art, if you like. And a lot of people would like to do the same. I'd also like to endorse the fact that people can get hold of your artwork. I know you obviously have been over this before. You've got them on the designs of your clothing and you've got them if you like, as bespoke pieces. Now, if they wanted to buy, say, um, a bespoke piece of yours, um, where would they go for that? And, you know, because obviously now you're putting them on. It is on my Instagram, hmm. which is at P-L-O-B-C-O-Y. Yeah, that's the best place to go because I can get direct message in there and I can send you, I can either set up um, whatever link you like then and whichever piece I can show forth those whichever information they need to buy my pieces because like I said I do clothing as well I do painted the jack is however link I can link you then to my online clothing store uh, which is with a company called Vida who are amazing um, based in the states but yeah that's my best and that's where I, I update the most because I love how Instagram looks and it's so quick now you're, you've got your clothing there. Do you have any items of clothing to show us? I saw the t-shirt last time, but do you have, do you have a jacket there? Because you mentioned no, it last time. I'll... For more tips and ideas on painting, please subscribe below to the Simply Inspired channel where we'll have daily art pieces like this that Kelly's bringing into the screen right now. Right, so um, I did this quite a while ago. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Jacket. Um, so I did all the patches individually, and then I got a seamstress to sew them. I can't sew. <laughs> no other machine. And then basically what I did, I drew them with the Posca markers. Yeah. Um, then I dipped them in tea <laughs> to give him that vintage look. And this has been shown in uh, fashion shows, which has been cool. Uh, so yeah, and I use it on a vintage leather jacket, which I love. Um, and then I use, I did this, uh, did this as well. So that's just on a hitch. Uh, oh, I love that. So yeah, I did the OB on one and the PL on the other. So I did, so that's a character, obviously a reference to uh, me not my a thing for not drinking and drugs so i don't do any um any drugs at all so i did that that's called uh, the straight edge thing so i did the that's where the x is there um uh yeah so then i i kind of went for the whole spray thing from the top um so yeah how much would that be for somebody because that's fantastic that one by the way really good it's uh, like it's, it's got its own life entirely yeah, that would be about, I don't know, about 80, 90 pounds for that. But I've also got jeans that match. Wow, that's got, very good. It's very good value. Beautifully constructed from your artwork to, um, to pro if you like, to, to product, as in we know the way. Um, for more tips and ideas on painting, please subscribe below to the Simply Inspired channel. Where inspired channel.